trial begins for a mother charged with killing her two young children. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. It is a heartbreaking story that shocked us all last summer when River and Leland Bates died after staying too long in a hot car. Well, today, prosecutors are trying to prove Tasha Bates was a negligent mother. News Channel 9's John Mabel has spent a day in Bradley County today in the courtroom. He joins us now with more. John, it was no doubt an emotional day for all involved. Indeed, Kim and Calvin. And you may remember back when this happened, the call first came in as a drowning. Today, we understand some of the confusion behind that. Now, Tasha Bates found her boys at her home, but drove them to her father's home. When detectives arrived, they didn't find any water on the property. Well, today, the lead detective said the father made the 911 call and was simply repeating what his daughter told him about what happened. That being said, much of the testimony today was about methamphetamine and Tasha Bates' use of it. The prosecution shows one photo after another. Each one's connected to meth paraphernalia found in the garbage on the property where Tasha Bates lived. A search warrant a few weeks after her two young sons' deaths turned up the paraphernalia. And the prosecution told the jury Bates had direct contact with meth. She consents to a drug test. She tests positive for methamphetamine. Her attorney didn't dispute use, but tried to break the connection to three-year-old River and five-year-old Leland's deaths. There's a trace amount of methamphetamine in their system. We believe the proof will show that the, that the methamphetamine in her system at the time she found the children did not contribute to their death. The young boys died in an awful way. River's body temperature was 109 degrees. Leland's was 104. Detectives say at first, Bates told them the boys were playing on a slip and slide and had been out of her view for 20 to 25 minutes. After subsequent interviews, that story changed. She did finally admit that she in fact had come out and found both children inside of her car. Um, describing her younger child, River Bates, to be in the front right passenger seat of the vehicle with that seat laid completely back, and that her uh, older son, Leland, was partially hanging out of the right rear passenger door. Instead of calling 911, she drove them to her dad's house about two miles away. She was panicking. Her attorney told the jury there was an explanation. We believe the proof will show that she heard one of the children that she panicked, she dropped her cell phone in an open position in the trunk. Again, that's what uh, her attorney says happened with her phone. And right now, he is cross-examining the lead detective, Dwayne Scoggins. And we're told that the uh, jury wants to stay here uh, listening to evidence until about 6.30 or 7 this evening. Reporting live from the Bradley County Justice Center, I'm John Madewell, News Channel 9. Thanks, John. Now, this incident was not the first time Tasha Bates lost a child. She lost her son, Travis, in a fire back in 2007. Tasha Bates has one surviving son, Leland, who has always been in the custody of his paternal grandparents. Depend on News Channel 9 to bring you continuing coverage of the Tasha Bates trial throughout the week.